We'll spend some time in the country for the grand opening of the Rusty Barn located in Letts, Iowa. Yes, from soaps to salsas, this unique <laughs> new business boasts homemade, all-natural products. Here with more are the owners, husband and wife Rusty and Joe Doffelt. Thank you both for being here today. Yes. Thanks for having us. Yes, yes congratulations. It's such exciting. exciting. Yes. Yeah, we're excited. Very we're cool. looking forward to it. Yes. Okay, so Joe, I want to start with you. Um, the grand opening is set for uh, the weekend of October 12th and 13th, mm -hmm. a Saturday and Sunday. Um, but I was reading all about you on your website, and this has really been a dream of yours for years. For uh, quite a while, actually. Um, I started out just being small. Um, I can remember helping my grandma do things, and yeah. I just kind of kept with it and added on to it. and. Started with crocheting to now we're into food and body products. Yeah, so. you have a lot of talents. <laughs> you certainly do. And yeah, well, I always talk about the smells here. You can smell the soap and you can smell the <laughs> salsa once yes. you open it. So uh, like you said, we've, you've been doing this for years and years, uh, years and years for a dream. So mm -hmm. 2020, you bought the land for this. Yeah. Six acres. So Rusty, tell us more about the land that your shop sits on and what it all has to offer. <clears throat> well, the, the, the unique thing about the land is it's That's all... Beautiful usable it's not really a mix of timber sure. and 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 field it's all field and all all open and we got we got a lot of opportunity to do a lot of different things with the property mm -hmm. um this building that we're having the store at has been was already on the on the property but is kind of decrepit and run down so sure. we've spent the last oh geez i don't know year or so remodeling the inside of it okay. and Aww. getting ready for the for the uh, grand opening and uh, Joe's just come up with more and more new things every every day. She's <laughs> coming out amazing. going, hey, I'm going to try this. And I'm like, oh, okay, we'll add that to the list of the stuff you make and offer. So. That's amazing. And you yeah. brought uh, much of it with you here yeah. today. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I have been hearing all about the bug bar for a very long time. So this yep, is something this that is you have been making for so a long time. Yep, that's something I've kind of researched, done some research on, and kind of came up with my own um, spin on it and a lot Smells of people good. really like it it's all natural you can use it head to toe you can use it on kids and you right. can use it on animals as well pets and everything that's that's been by far our biggest seller I, well that must mean it works really well yeah. it, it does work it it once works. you find yeah. something as a person who is like notoriously eaten alive by all the bugs no matter <laughs> where i go um you find something good and you stick with it yeah so it, it works very well that makes perfect yeah. sense yep. and we've got candles here yep. as well all of our oh, candles yeah, are the wood wicks candles. so they actually do the little crackling sound when you cranberry apple yeah, this yes. one's really, really good. So they're all the Ooh, wood weight candles. Yeah. And that's kind of Marbly. more of a masculine yes. fragrance. But. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this is... Smells really good. This is really nice too. Ooh, so this yeah. is what, why Kyle and I we just like love having you guys on here. Yes. We can just okay. And you got into now. What I love is it, you have an emphasis on all natural. So now you do yes. body products and yes. you have soaps and things like that. Why was that so important to you? Um, a lot of it was I had a little bit of a medical history and I kind of got reading up on things and all the chemicals that they put into body product yeah. products. And so I'm like that's absorbing through my skin. And so I just started doing some research and some background on some things and came across um, homemade soap and I just kind of spun it into my own. So. They're beautiful too. They are. Like they, on top of, I'm they sure look they great and smell I'm, great. I haven't gotten to smell any of them oh, yet. Okay. So I was going through each one, sniffing them. These ones over <laughs> here are kind of the more the <laughs> masculine. <Sexy> farmer. <laughs> I picked the sexy farmer. <laughs> <laughs> but you got That's the, actually been one of our popular favorites. Is it really? I, I, can yeah. Yeah. I can understand. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah these are kind of our masculine ones and then our more feminine ones. You have, you know, you have the typical, the vanilla, the spearmint. So, uh, those are all yeah. great as well. So you also have ventured into making salsa, salsa. which Morgan and I are going to try a couple oh, yeah. of these. So you you do these all homemade, right? They're all homemade. Yep, okay. they're all made in our home. They're all and you grow the, like all the products? all the ingredients. Yep, yep. That's so awesome. they all so you come. know exactly what's going in yep. your product. And Absolutely. You can list them on there, and yep. it's not this long list of all these different products. Nope, it's, it's going to be your basic, salsa. simple garden products. Oh, okay, awesome. so I'm going to try the uh, lots of heat with bold flavor. Okay. One. And yours is supposed to be kind of sweet. Yeah, mine's going to be uh, sweet, some heat, with smoky, sweet flavor. So I'm going to try that one. You weren't kidding. I know. It's good. <laughs> Rusty's like, if you like spicy stuff, you're going to love this. And this is really mm -hmm. good. This is that good. That one yeah. takes a few minutes, but it'll... it'll this the one longer you eat it, the hotter it's going to get. The hotter it's going to get. Yeah. You have so two any, and a half right. minutes to survive. Uh -huh. Anytime we have a show or anytime <laughs> we have... Uh, a table set up where we're selling salsa. We always leave the samples out. Mm -hmm. Very few people come sample and mm -hmm. don't walk away with a jar. Yeah, yeah I want to walk away I with a jar. I can see why. I mean, yeah, <laughs> these three jars, keep an eye on those. Amazing. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with this grand opening, you're also going to have many other, other vendors. vendors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, got, well. we, got a, we got roughly 12 to 15 uh, vendors oh, signed up right now that are going to be there. Uh, they'll be spread kind of throughout the property um, around our area. We have Pit Crew Barbecue. 
uh, coming and serving yeah. food all day. And then we also uh, sponsored several race cars uh, throughout this throughout the race season this past uh, summer, and their their cars are going to be there on display. So, kind of a uh, lots of lots of stuff going on. Oh so. my gosh, good for you guys. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, congrats. This is truly amazing. Yeah, this salsa is delicious, so you got to check that out for sure. The, so the grand opening of the Rusty Barn Country Store is next Saturday, October 12th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., as well as Sunday the 13th from 9 to 2. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to follow the business on Facebook, or you can visit their website, rusty-barn.com. Uh, Rusty and Joe, thank you so much for giving us some samples and yeah. talking yeah. about yeah. your shop. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, and thank you for